Yeah, hi there, I'm Pums from Lamont Villa School. Can you please help me with this? Thank you. So let's have a look at the question, but just remember that we're talking present veil, especially when I see the word loan. Now, I have Candice borrows 100,000 at an interest rate of 10% per annum compounded monthly. She repays the loan by means of equal monthly payments of 5,500 and a fi final payment which is less than the monthly payments that she's making. Now, I was just reading it. Now I'm going to read it and highlight the important things that you guys need. Now, the first word is borrow. Therefore, I'm talking about present value. That's the first important thing. This 100,000 will be the present value that she is borrowing from the bank or rather from any institution for that matter. And then the interest rate here which we are given is 10% per annum compounded monthly. So it's 0 0,1 divided by 12. And then from there I will have she repays the loan by means of monthly uh, payments which are equal. That's important as well. Therefore this will indicate my X value. And then the final installment, which will be way less than what she has been paying monthly. Now, the first question is, how many months will it take for the loan to be repaid? Now, guys, I know one of the main things that you guys struggle, struggle with is the use of formulas. Which formula to use when? I'm not sure whether I'm supposed to use the PV or the FV. But remember, we're talking about a present value here because they, this Candice is borrowing money. So that's a loan. So this is a present value situation that you guys need to know about. So we're using the present value formula to find out how long it will take. Remember as well, how many months will mean the N part of the equation. Now the equation is PV is equals to X open bracket 1 minus 1 plus I to the exponent of negative N all divided by I. Also remember guys, please don't cram the formulas because we do give you the formula sheet at the back of the question paper for you to be able to then just know how to apply the formulas. Remember, we love you guys, so we want you to pass this metric of yours. So this is x, uh, or rather not x, but it's 5,500 which we are given, so it's 5,500 uh, into 1 minus 1 plus a 0, 0,1 divided by 12 to the exponent of negative 12 n and then I close my bracket divided by 0, 0,1 divided by 12. Now I'm just going to do it in one go in terms of my uh, my working out here on the calculator. So let's put the calculator this side. I hope you guys are going to pay attention here. So firstly it will be the 100,000 I'm going to cross multiply number one multiplied by 0, 0,1 divided by 12, that's number one, I get my answer. So you don't have to write down the answer, please, because you guys have a tendency of rounding off, which will then make the final answer incorrect. Now with this, so I first cross multiply. So step number one, it will be to cross multiply. Step number two will be divide by 5.5 uh, Kilo, uh, thousands, I'll just say K there, and then number three, we'll get to that just now. So firstly, we did that, then I need to divide by 5,500, which will be equal to that amount there, and then now I need to get rid of that one there, so I minus a one, which is then equal to, so now this is what I'm going to have, so st that step is minus one both sides. So now this is what I have, I have negative 28 over 33, so negative uh, minus negative 28 over 33 is equals to 1 plus 0, 0,1 divided by 12 to the exponent of negative 12n. But this is a negative as well, remember. So the negative and the negative are going to go away, so that and that are no longer there. And then lastly, you introduce the log. So the 12n is equal to the log of um, the base is 1 plus 0, 0,1 divided by 12 to the uh, 28 over 33. And this is a positive, so please, I, it's, that's not a negative. Therefore, this will then be, remember I said we introduce a log. So I have a log of 1 plus 0.1 divided by 12. And then this will be 28 
divided by 33 and this will be equals to that. So it will be negative 19 comma something. So it's negative 12 n is equals to negative 19 comma 7 I think. Uh, 7, 9, so it's 8 in simple terms. Now, I'm going to divide both sides by negative and get rid of that negative. So this negative and that negative will be gone. So I have 12n is equals to 19,8. So therefore, it is going to be 19 months. Now, guys, one thing that I want you guys to please be aware of here is that that 12 that I have in front of the n, you don't divide by it because already it is converting the n to be in months. And the question said in months. So if you are getting it in years or you wanted the answer in years, then you divide by the 12 and get what it is. So let's go to the second question. The second question says calculate uh, what will the outstanding balance be after the 19th payment. So the outstanding balance is given by the formula P V into 1 plus I to the exponent of n minus x into 1 uh, plus i to the exponent of n minus 1, all divided by i. I hope people are aware of this formula. So I will just plug in the values on the calculator here. So let me go this side quickly. So my calculator, this is what I have. So I'm going to plug in this on the formula that you guys saw that side. Firstly, it's going to be 100,000. Um, Sorry about that, 100,000 into 1 plus a 0, comma, a 1 over 12 to the exponent of. So here they said 19th payment, right? So I have the 19th payment. So to the exponent of 19 and then minus 5,500 into 1 plus 0, 0,01 uh, 0, 0,1 divided by the 12 to the exponent of 19 minus 1 close bracket and then 0, 0,1 divided by the 12 and this will be equals to so the outstanding balance will be 4358 rands so it will be 4,358 and 57 cents. So this will be the last amount there that I have. Then the last question will just be, uh, what is the final payment? So the outstanding balance is this. So it means the outstanding payment will be this one. 